is we can demonstrate consequences that we could never demonstrate in the live 360 side. And you're going to learn something today about creating virtual reality or VR training content. So we get the question asked a lot by our viewers, how do you create this stuff? What is it? And really the answer is VR training content comes in two general types. You have 360 video based content that's real people, real processes, real tactics, if it, if it might be so. And then you have computer-based VR simulation that's kind of like serious gaming. People, some people say, well, it's kind of like a cartoon that you interact with. And then you have the hybrid of the two, which I firmly believe is the strongest means of training. But let me take each one and give you a demonstration and a discussion about, well, frankly, how do you create it? Because it's of interest to our viewers. So 360 video content, we start with a video camera. Now these cameras come run from anywhere from $600 to $60,000. But for the most part, a $600 camera can shoot wonderful training content and that's all that's needed. So you place the camera in the scene, you run your simulation that you might already be doing on a weekly or monthly basis and you capture that. Now we help you when it comes to uh, looking at how to set up camera mounts. Do you shoot it from a tripod? Do you shoot it from a helmet? Do you shoot it from a drone? Do you shoot it from a rover? Or if you're not interested in maybe learning how to create the content, then we certainly can help you come out and we'll do the shooting for you. Once you get the content shot and edited based on your input from a shot list and your needs of the particular simulation, then we start adding the interactivity. We add animated callouts and we add branching so that you can have people make decisions within the simulation that can affect them not only within that simulation but in real life. We add testing strategy and then it feeds into an LMS that allows you to gather data on the particular adult learners that are taking the particular simulation. So it's all about real people and real things and actually it can be shot by the organization itself or we can come out and shoot it. On the other hand, when you're looking at computer-based VR simulation, it's more of a task that's a specialty type of skill. So we'll meet with an organization, we'll determine what their needs are, and the advantage of simulation that's computer generated is we can interact with the scene. We can move around with the scene. We can grab, let's say we're doing lockout, tagout. We can, we can grab a, a handle and something can happen. So VR simulation is more like serious gaming and it allows you to interact with it. We can actually have you walk through a scene where on the 360 video side, the cameraman has to walk through that scene. The biggest advantage in VR simulation is we can demonstrate consequences that we could never demonstrate in the live 360 side. For instance, we can have you walk outside of the shielding in a seven foot high trench and that trench collapses and, and bad things happen. We can have you up on a scaffolding, maybe four or five stories high and the scaffolding has a problem and you fall and in real life we could never do that but in VR computer simulation you actually feel like you're falling and maybe you've inspected your harness and you're you're stopped you're saved 
but maybe you didn't do a good job of inspection. So it's those real life decisions that we can simulate here that has meaning and real impact on an adult learner. So let's take the best of both worlds. A hybrid approach is what I personally think is the best method to convey a learning objective. Let's take the, the uh, harness safety and inspection. We'll, we shoot that on the 360 video site so you can see real harnesses. You, you look at the how to don the harness, how to inspect it, all in real life. And then based on some decisions that you made, we switch then to a VR simulation that you go up five stories, maybe 25 stories, and you're working and suddenly something happens and you feel like you're falling and maybe you're arrested. You stop, you're saved. But maybe you didn't inspect the harness properly and the lanyard breaks because it was frayed and you have that, that visceral feeling of falling that you will never forget. And suddenly you take that learning and you take it out on the real job site. And you remember when you're actually tasked with inspecting your own harness prior to going up, you're going to remember that mo moment. So when you look at the ability of to create those type of simulations, that requires some special to use, getting back to how we create it. But defining the best of both worlds, 360 video based and VR simulation, which is computers based, the marriage of the two is by far the most impactful for adult learners.